Welcome to Pyramid Research Previews. My name is Stella Bokun. I lead Pyramid's mobile devices practice. Today, I will provide you with a brief overview of the most recent report that Pyramid has published. The title of the report is Smartphone Operating Systems, Ecosystem Analysis, and Trends Shaping the Future of the Global Smartphone Market. I co-authored this report with Luis Portella, our analyst at large. Key questions that the report answers. How large is the mobile handset and smartphone market globally? What is the role of operating systems in the smartphone industry? How did each of the five major operating systems, iOS, BlackBerry OS, Android, Windows Phone, and Symbian emerge? And how do they compare to each other? What is the role of handset manufacturers, mobile service providers, and the developer community in the development of a competitive landscape for operating systems? And finally, what are the major trends in the smartphone and OS markets that we can expect through 2015? The smartphone segment has boomed to become a major growth driver of the global handset market. Following a sluggish start, when smartphones were mainly targeted at business users, they have witnessed exploding sales in recent years, especially since the introduction of Apple's iPhone in 2007. The iPhone delivers a landmark consumer-focused user experience and, in a way, changed the way the industry did business. Further contributing to the smartphone segment's skyrocketing growth was the launch of Google's Android, open source operating system in 2008. This enabled smartphones to actually reach the mass market, since many of the Android smartphones came at much lower price points. Much of that growth between 2006 and 2010 still occurred in developed markets, mostly in North America, Western Europe, and APAC. Um, by 2010, uh, unit sell-through uh, reached 273 million smartphones. In this fast-changing context, several main operating systems have emerged. The fastest growing systems uh, so far were Google's Android and Apple's iOS. They were the second and the third uh, players, respectively, in terms of smartphone market share in 2010. In spite of a market share decline since the entry of Apple in 2007, Nokia's Symbian remained the market leader in 2010. However, struggling to create a competitive OS in a timely fashion. Um, as as uh, many of you know, Nokia announced in February 2011 a partnership with Microsoft to adopt Windows Phone as its primary smartphone OS. This means that Symbian will eventually disappear. According to our expectations, this will happen in 2013 or 14, in spite of Nokia having announced that it would support the platform until 2016. So as to this, Microsoft Windows Phone and RIMS BlackBerry OS, and this is the complete list of the most important OS platforms, which are also analyzed in great detail in this report. Here, you can see a visual representation of the smartphone segment value chain and its players. The role and relative importance of the various OS platforms in the smartphone segment is also decisively influenced by the other players that com uh, complete this entire value chain. The most influential players along the value chain are handset vendors, mobile operators, and content and application developers, with latter having an increasingly important role um, due to the growing impact of the application and content ecosystem uh, uh, that it has on the OS relevance. So uh, basically the ability to create an ecosystem
system that is compelling enough to attract as many developers and advertisers as possible is a vital tool, as this creates um, an app store that then offers the most interesting and varied content, thus attracting more users to the platform who are interested in this content. So this kind of creates a virtual cycle for the uh, system, um, which then creates a critical mass and, and makes it more profitable for developers to adhere to a specific platform. So in the report, we analyze each segment of the value chain and how it contributes to, to the competitive landscape that we um, have today and uh, how it will drive certain changes that we expect going forward. In addition, uh, to the, the business objectives and strategy, uh, which are essential to achieving relevance to consumers and, and various players uh, along the value chain, in the report uh, we also analyze um, certain characteristics of each of the, the main operating systems. We look at openness, um, at ownership structure, um, support of third-party applications, um, and, of course, availability by handset vendor. In the fast-changing uh, smartphone market and, and a very competitive OS uh, arena of today, most, or we can even say all, large, operating systems are facing certain challenges. For Apple, the challenge uh, on the one hand is to, to remain um, the leader of innovation uh, in, in the smartphone arena. However, maybe even larger challenges, um, how to sustain growth without eroding margins. The challenge for Google is how to retain the relationships that it has with uh, partner um, handset manufacturers. Uh, in other words, how to provide them with space to differentiate within Android. Things become a bit more complex with the most recent announcement of Google's acquisition of Motorola, which is likely to antagonize some of its current Android partners, at least uh, in the medium or long term. Challenge that Microsoft is facing is the negative legacy of its Windows Mobile. Um, while Windows Phone has corrected much of the problems, many of the problems that existed with uh, Windows Mobile, many of the users are still pointing out um, that uh, Windows is complicated to use, not user-friendly, and are thus uh, less likely to opt for devices that are based on Windows Phone. Uh, as you will see, we do expect that this will change. The main challenge for RIM is obviously the timely migration to its new platform. While the largest operating systems are facing a number of challenges, the current developments in the smartphone market provide them with an immense number of opportunities, too. The majority of opportunities will come from the emerging markets this time. Most of them will see smartphone adoption rates comparable to those experienced in the developed world between 2006 and 2010. So, for example, smartphone unit sell-through will grow at a CAGR of 37% in Africa and Middle East between 2010 and 2015, and at 35% in Asia Pacific and Latin America. In this environment, due to relatively low disposable incomes across the emerging world, and thus high price elasticity of the demand for smartphones, 
volume players will secure a more consistent growth. We believe that Android and Windows Phone in this context will capture more than 70% of the smartphone market by 2015. When it comes to Apple, even if Apple eventually launches a less expensive iPhone, we believe that its price will still be too high for the truly emerging world, and thus um, iOS will likely stay a value player, potentially even losing its current share of unit sales. Ultimately, the OS ecosystem war will consolidate the application opportunity in the four biggest platforms, Android, Windows Phone, iOS, and BlackBerry OS. The size of these players' ecosystems will concentrate application developers and content providers around them, benefiting the biggest players and limiting the growth of alternative platform providers. With this slide, I will conclude the today's preview. Thank you for listening and join us next time. Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Goodbye.